I have some data into my Google Sheets and I have a similar sheet into the Airtable as well. And whenever I am updating a specific data into my Google Sheets, I want that the corresponding record should be find out automatically and the same record should be updated automatically as a record in Airtable. Basically, I want to sync my Google Sheets data with Airtable records and I am going to do that with the help of an automation and integration software Pabli Connect. I am an existing user so here you can notice I am already logged in in Pabli Connect. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this kind of amazing automation. Now once you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation. So I am providing the name as update record in Airtable from Google Sheets. Now I will click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you. Okay. So here trigger means when this happens an action means do this. Okay. So whenever this happens then automatically do this. Try to understand with an example also. Let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via Gmail application to your customers. Okay. So this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here according to our use case whenever the data is updated in Google Sheets application then automatically update the same record in Airtable application. Okay. So I have selected both the application in the trigger and the action window and now the idea here is I am going to connect both the applications one by one with the Pabli Connect. Okay. So let's connect our Google Sheets with the Pabli Connect first. Okay. So firstly I will select the trigger event as this. Okay. And now you will see a webhook URL. So with the help of this URL only I am going to build this connection. Okay. And the instruction for the same are already given here. So make sure that you read all the instructions very carefully. Okay. So copy this webhook URL. Go to your spreadsheet which you would like to connect with the Pabli Connect. Click on extension. Click on add-ons. Click on get add-ons. And here firstly you will have to search for the Pabli Connect webhooks add-on. Alright, so I am searching for the same that is Pabli Connect Webbooks add-on. But you will notice that this add-on is already installed in my account. Okay, so that is why I am not going to install it once again. But make sure if you are building this connection for the first time, you will have to install this add-on. And after that, you can open the same add-on from here. Okay, so this is the Pabli Connect Webbooks add-on. Clicking on initial setup and here you will have to paste the same webbook URL which you have received from from Pabli Connect. Okay, so firstly I have deleted the existing data. Let me paste the same webhook URL and now it will ask you to provide the trigger column. Okay, so let us first read the instructions. The trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. Okay, so basically it is asking to provide us a trigger column which means the last data entry column of the sheet on the filling of which this automation will trigger or you can say the data will be sent to Pabli Connect. Okay, so I want that whenever I am updating any value into this J column, okay, this automation should trigger. Okay, so I have specified the same. Okay, and make sure whenever you are building this connection, this particular column should be filled. Otherwise, it will say that no data are found in row 2. Okay, so here you can notice since I have already updated the value as yes, the test data has sent successfully basically the whole row data has been sent to the Pabli Connect okay so I have clicked on submit the setup configured successfully let me close it coming back to my Pabli Connects dashboard and here you can notice the response is received okay so let me show you the details one by one here we have the trigger column here we have the same spreadsheet name here we have other details like the product the quantity the row index the name of the invoice we have the invoice status then voice number the email reminder sent okay and here we have the email due date currency and the amount due okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our google sheets and Pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay and now onwards what will happen 
every time you will update the data basically every time you will update your trigger column this automation will trigger and the data will be fetched up via Pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time but for that you will have to enable one more very important settings that is this send on event if you will enable this option, this will ensure that every time the data is filled in this J column, in the trigger column, the data will be automatically sent to Pabli Connect. Here you can see it is enabled now, okay? And one more very important thing I would like to tell you is that whenever you are working with the Google Sheets, make sure that multiple Gmail accounts should not be logged in at the same time or you should work into the incognito window okay i am repeating this thing once again either work into the incognito window or multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in okay so the first step of our automation is done and i want that whatever the record i have updated here the same record should be updated here into the a table as well okay so firstly i am going to delete this record so that i can show you how the record will be find out automatically and the corresponding value will be updated automatically okay this is the same column that is email send, send status okay email reminder sent okay how about i keep it as as it is okay let me change the name here okay all right so i have updated the name okay now coming back to pabli connect dashboard and since the first step of our automation is done now i will select the application as airtable well i have already selected in the action event you will have to select this search record yes basically we are going to first search the record and then we are going to update the record okay so just like we have connected google sheets and pabli connect now we are going to connect airtable and Pabli connect for which it will ask you the token okay so you will have to directly click on this hyperlink that is developer hub and then you will have to follow all the instructions okay so basically it is asking to create a new token button and add a name and then you will have to provide the permissions okay so this is the a table account basically a table developer section and here i will click on this create new button let me provide some random name something like sync a table and google sheets all right i have provided the name now i will select the scope whatever mentioned here into the description into the help text okay well it is mentioned that data records read data records write you will have to select the same okay let me select everything one by one Alright, so I think I have selected all the scopes. Lastly, I am going to select the base that is all current and future bases and all current and future workspaces. Okay, clicking on this create token button and this is how the token will be generated. Let me copy the same. Coming back to Pabli Connect, let me paste the same. Clicking on save and this is how Airtable application will be also connected with the Pabli Connect. Here you can see it is connected. And since we are connected, whatever the basis i have created inside my table account have started visible here okay so currently i will select this all due invoice details this specific base okay so let me search for the same that is all due invoice details okay and in the table name i have the table name as table one well it will be selected automatically because i have a single table now finally it is asking that via which particular field you would like to search for the record Record. okay so i think this invoice number is going to be a unique value in both the places at both the places okay so with the help of this invoice number only i am going to firstly search for this data okay so coming to pabli connect and here i will select the same that is invoice number and now it is asking that what value you would like to search okay so i would like to search for this invoice number in this a table record okay so how i am going going to do that the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy the above data and paste it here okay i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple inside Pabli Connect. You just need to click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down. Let me search for that invoice number. Okay, so I have specified here that I would like to make a search in this field and the value should be this. Okay, and now I will leave all the fields blank. 
directly clicking on this button and you will notice that how it will give me the data of this specific row okay basically this specific row this specific record into the a table because remember we are actually searching this value into the a table okay so we have one two three four five six columns okay so let us check the response and here you can see the response is received and you can notice that all six column values has been fetched up automatically okay so did you notice that we have also received this record id with the help of this id only we are going to update the corresponding value okay so just like in our google sheet we have row index as the unique value of the row in our a table also we have received the record id okay so how i am going to update the corresponding value clicking on this plus icon once again and i will search for the a table once again here okay let me do that and after that firstly this time i will select the action event as update a record and then i am again going to connect a table with the pavli connect but this time i will go with the existing connections because i have already provided this connections multiple times okay here you can see it is connected again it will ask you to select the base okay so let me search for the same the name of the base was all due invoice okay so let me search for the same all due invoice details again the table id will be selected automatically and here i will have to specify the record id that which record i would like to update okay so instead of selecting this record from the drop down i am going to map this record id because if i will select this id from the drop down this id will remain same and every time the data will be updated into this specific record only okay but i want that this automation should work in real time automatically basically the record should be updated every time on different records based on the search we are making from our google sheets okay so that is why i have firstly enable the mapping button and then i am going to search for the same record okay so i have mapped this value and again i am telling you whatever the details you will map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real real time okay and if i will provide any detail manually here in these fields these details will remain same okay so this is the power of mapping and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation now every data is same in this google sheets and a table i just want to update the status of email reminder sent into the a table okay so that is why instead of updating the values in two rest of the columns i am going to update the value directly into this email reminder sent okay and again i am going to map this value from the google sheets data okay here i have the email reminder status as yes okay so i have mapped it successfully now i will click on this button in front of in you and you will notice that how the record will be updated automatically all right so i have clicked on that button the response is also received let me go back back to my airtable account and here you can see the record is updated automatically okay so this is how whatever the details you are going to update here into your spreadsheet the records will be updated automatically into your airtable as well basically you can sync the google sheets data with the airtable with the help of pavli connect very easily for that you just need to create this automation inside pavli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pavli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay so let me show you how this automation will work in real time remember we have already enabled this send on event option okay so how about i update this invoice 006 in this specific column i am going to write the value as yes and now i am pressing enter okay once i have pressed enter i will 
will wait for that data to be updated here automatically and here you can notice that how the same value has been updated automatically okay just in case if you want to learn how you can create this automation i will also attach this link into my description box okay simply click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video